I'm Bob Harris of Decorative Concrete Institute. Welcome to Duraman's training and educational series for industrial and decorative concrete flooring systems. We're going to show you how to apply Purdue SLE self-leveling epoxy flooring systems. Typically you want to start with this system by profiling your concrete. We're looking for a CSP or a concrete surface profile of a, between 3 and 5 which is usually obtainable by using either dustless grinding and or shop blasting. Once you've obtained your concrete surface profile, you're going to clean the floor, vacuum it, get all the uh, particulate off the floor, and then you're going to move on to the next step, which is priming with EO2. EO2 is a 100% solids epoxy resin. Basically, once you've primed, you're going to come back a minimum of 8 to 10 hours or the next day uh, prior to moving on to the next step. If you experience outgassing bubbles, say pinholes, uh, anything of that nature, you'll want to sand the floor first with a 120 grit screen. You want to vacuum that floor up and then um, solvent wipe that off. The next application is the E10 pigmented um, system. Here's the E10, it's a both A and B. And also included in this system is the SL filler. The SL filler, as you can see, is a, a fine powder and the, the filler actually allows for thicker build material. Speaking of thicker builds, you're looking at an application coverage uh, about sixteenth of an inch up to an eighth of an inch in overall thickness. Now, if you needed to go thicker for whatever reason, for a thicker build, you could actually broadcast or seed 30 mesh sand into the applied material. If you did broadcast the 30 mesh sand, you'd want to come back and scrape that and vacuum up the residual, and then you would want to apply an application of uh, Purdue E20 for that thicker build. Once you had that completed, you would, uh, next step would be to apply your top coat. You have some different options when it comes to applying your top coats. You could actually apply U45, which is a matte polyurethane. You could go with U46, which is a gloss um, urethane. You could also go with U90 for a higher build or P72, which is your, your uh, polyaspartic um, sealer. If you needed chemical resistance, you would want to consider the use of the Novolac epoxy, which is going to provide you excellent uh, chemical resistance. It's time to mix our Purdue SLE self-leveling epoxy flooring system. We're going to start off with our part A. Remember our part A has uh, previously been pigmented, and so we're going to dump the part A into our mixing bucket, making sure not to dump on the side of the bucket. Um, I've heard horror stories when people are dumping it, it gets up here on the bucket and after all the components are mixed you have unmixed material up here and of course that's going to be the first thing that hits the floor so be really cautious when you're dumping your uh, your raw ingredients into your mixing bucket like you see here so this is the part A we've got all that into her now we're going to go with part B now typically part B mixes for uh, about a minute um, prior to to uh, uh, putting in our filler and then, um, then we're going to put in our filler right here. So here goes part B. Now we start our mixing. This is a powder, so it's a good idea to go ahead and wear a dust mask as well. All right, we have our Purdue SLE all mixed up. We've mixed all three components. We've started with the A, put the B in, mix that for one minute, and then we put our SL filler into that for the, for the remaining two minutes. Now, you have roughly a pot life of, uh, at 70 degrees, somewhere around 20 minutes. Um, so it has a pretty decent pot life. Um, the yield on this material is about 25 square feet at an eighth of an inch thick. So there's a couple ways that you can apply the material. You can, on a small area, use a notched trowel. On much larger areas, you can use a notched squeegee at the proper thickness. Um, and then once we've went ahead and applied it with either the notched squeegee or the notched trowel, all we do is just hit a quick time with a back, back roll, and uh, that's about it. Now, what I like to do 
is uh, just pre-wet my roller because these rollers actually absorb a lot of material. And so if we took our time to get this material down with our notch trowel and we started right off with the dry roller, it would actually absorb material onto the roller and you would actually see that little bit of a depression. So um, I like to just go ahead and dump a little bit of material into a roller tray. Doesn't take much. Just pre-rut your roller. So virtually everything that I put in there that you just saw me dump is now absorbed. So you can see. So it is a great idea just to go ahead and re-wet that roller. Now we're ready for our application. You can see the self-leveling properties that the material does have. Okay, we've uh, notched troweled it down just about the right amount. Now we'll go ahead and just uh, hit it with a quick back roll. And that concludes our uh, application of our Purdue SLE self-leveling epoxy flooring system. Every project has its own unique qualities. For this reason, that's why it's important to consult your Duraman representative for project-specific questions. Now, you may have questions on mix ratios, which is certainly listed on their website, uh, or other project concerns such as moisture. Now the industry standard is uh, three pounds of moisture vapor transmission in 1,000 square feet in a 24 hour window. Now Duraman has a complete line of moisture related products. For example, Purdue MVT will uh, take eight pound readings and it, it'll uh, cover up to eight pounds in 1,000 square feet in 24 hours. Purdue MVT Plus will uh, get you 18 to 20 pounds of moisture vapor transmission and bring it down to within acceptable tolerances. And also a great system to consider is Purdue UMC, which is the ure urethane modified concrete, which is good up to 18 to 20 pounds of moisture vapor transmission.